What's up, YouTube? It's Mike, Sticks and Seams. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Uh, Pre-national, huh? So, unfortunately, I'm not able to attend. Uh, definitely a bucket list thing for me. Just not in the cards this year. Um, for all of you who are going, I hope you have a safe, just awesome trip and experience. Hopefully, you're able to get everything you want for your PCs and um, come home with a little money in your pocket. I know that's probably pretty hard because it would be very hard for me. But um, a little jealous, but also very happy for all of you. So um, great luck. Oh, good luck this week. I do have a uh, care package to show off. A fellow YouTuber reached out, and I was happy to send my address his way and got some cool stuff. And uh, just some pickups from LCS and eBay. So the first one I'm going to go over is my care package. A fellow YouTuber reached out to me. A lot of you who follow me probably follow their channel. If not, you got to sign on up. They've kind of done a they did a little pivot recently, and now they have uh, they're shooting all their content together. And uh, that YouTuber is Matt from the Essential Credentials. He has kind of merged his channel with his fellow um, collaborators, Greg and Alan. Uh, they are '90s guys, so Alan's a Bonds PC. Greg does Tim Salmon, Frank Thomas, Nomar, and uh, Matt who used to be an A-Rod guy, went back to his roots, and now PC's flurry. So if you haven't seen some of his um, reveals, he has this awesome glass case with everything just, like, perfectly displayed in it. So looks real nice. And he said, you know what, I got something for your backdrop here, and I'm going to send it away. So I was very pleased when I opened it because I do not own it. I do know that there are, like, two or three different versions, and uh, some of them are autographed. Uh, this is just a really cool image, so... Uh, this was the first card, very fitting to send the flurry. And then the Tyler Glasnow, how, who he also PCs a bit. And I really like the mosaics. I pick up the Griffies when I find them cheap. This was the big piece, and um, it's from Upper Deck Masterpieces. It's the 4x6 box toppers. They're really nicely done. The image is on like a canvas, and they are um, framed in with black. And it... Here we go here. I'm going to have to find a way to um, work that in the background. But uh, awesome image. That would look fantastic. Uh, signed. And I like it because it's the it's his rookie jersey. So um, don't see him in that too often anymore. But again, thank you, Matt. And uh, definitely check out the Essential Credentials, especially if you're thinking about 90s. Uh, it's where I got a lot of my uh, knowledge base from. So... Next card was a LCS pickup. It was part of a bundle. And uh, for the price of the bundle, I figured why not. And it's from 01 Sweet Spots, the game used jersey of Barry Bonds. I did not have any Barry Bonds game used stuff, so figured take it home. This card's really cool. Uh, I might have even seen this for the first time on Greg's um, channel. And it uh, just never comes up. The game used jersey version does all the time. And then I kind of looked it up and then I realized it was significantly more rare, this version. So from 03 Fleer EX, it's the Emerald Essentials. These are beautiful cards with that shine on them. The die cut action. These were 1 in 240 packs. So a really cool card there. This was an impulse buy, but it was a steal, so I figured why not. Uh, from 04 Upper Deck SP Legendary Cuts, this is a Ray Dandridge Auto, number to 199. I really like the design of these cards. Um, this one's obviously 5 and 199. I don't know what I'm thinking, but I'm just picking them up as I go along, and I realize I picked up like four or five of them over the past few weeks uh, when they're, you know, reasonably listed. And uh, it's kind of like a crazy set. So it's the 98 Pinnacle Epics. For those of you who don't know a tremendous about, about it, it was kind of a multi-tiered set. It was across multiple different brands, uh, Pinnacle, Score, and Zenith. And um, there were three color variations. There were orange, purple, and green, or emerald. And the emerald were the most rare. And there are three different versions of each of the colors. Um, but then there is a whole nother set that was not to be released uh, pinnacle had gotten gone bankrupt and they still made it out so when people talk about the emerald 
epics cards they're usually referring to that one uh, i've actually never seen a griffey like in the wild um, i've seen them in personal collections but never available uh, so i'm just kind of picking up the base ones that you would have been able to get in the packs and this is the um the play emerald of griffey uh, I had watched an auction many months ago. Nobody bought the card. I reached out to the seller still had. He actually gave me a better deal than the listing. So uh, slowly but surely just picking them up. I like the design of them. The uh, the, the rare ones kind of look like the Kabooms do today, to be honest with you, with like that star kind of pattern in the back. Uh, this was another really cool card. I never had it before. Uh, 2000 Upper Deck Ultimate Victory. This is one of the ultimate parallels of Griffey. Uh, really cool card in person. There's serial number to 250. I think this one was 66 or 250. So you have that rainbow foil around the edge, but Griffey himself is uh, like embossed. You just can't see it that good in the one touch. So uh, cheap card for a really cool card, honestly. Um, I don't mind them in the reds. They're way better deals to be had with him in the reds. And uh, at the end of the day, it's still Griffey. So I'm good with it. This was my biggest purchase. I've been wanting one of these for a long time, and I just never pulled the trigger, and now I'm noticing it's creeping up 10, 15 bucks, 20, 30 bucks, 40, 50 bucks. So I figured I better get on it before it gets to one of those points where I have to make a really big sacrifice to buy one. And it is from 1969 Tops. It's the Reggie Jackson rookie. I got in an SGC. This is the nicest SGC I've ever seen in my life. Um, obviously, the centering, there's a tiny little blue stain there. But the rest of the card looks really good to me. So um, this is the back. Uh, I'm excited to own this. I've wanted it for a while. And uh, kind of satisfies my uh, vintage drought a bit. And um, yeah, that's it. I'm, and I'd r much rather have them in an A's uniform. So that's uh, that was it. Uh, like I said, again, good luck to everybody heading out to National. Keep an eye out for me on any cool Griffey cards and uh, my 05 Ultimate Dual Signatures. I know there's a few of you looking for me. I appreciate it. Thank you. And um, stay tuned for that uh, big reveal. I hope I hope it wasn't, you know, I hope I didn't get bamboozled. I think I'm okay, but you never can tell nowadays until it's